What's up everyone, it's Hey John and I Jabber Opportunities Nonstop. Today I will be discussing Evergrow Coin. What is going on? Why is there so much FUD? Why is there so much uncertainty? But guess what folks? I will be showing you a glimmer of hope and there is a very big glimmer. So let's go ahead and get into it. Crypto.com, I've been using them to buy all of my BNB to swap over to my Trust Wallet to swap over and pancake swap to get, guess what? some more evergrow coin if you use my referral code link down below in the description you will get 25 dollars in crow cro what are you waiting for check it out evergrow coin what's going on folks well first things first we have some good news here and what is the good news well we are seeing a potential well buying up evergrow coin i saw in a chart and it's a very big buy so that's very interesting to see here and of course if you're wondering how do I buy Evergrow coin at these rock bottom prices, well, my link down below in the description, I made a how to video of how to buy Evergrow coin. It is very detailed and very easy to follow with step by step and very, very detailed instructions. So there's no way you can get lost. If you do, just watch it again and it points you step by step explaining every single step and what every single thing does. So we're actually seeing Sam come out making videos and explaining to the Fudsters what's going on. We're seeing wallets being distributed. And ladies and gentlemen, what are you worried about? This is literally the most transparent cryptocurrency I've ever seen. They give you the wallets directly and to track it on Twitter. They give you where they work at, their history. So I really don't understand what is all the worry about. I've seen the YouTube stats of the Fudsters and they're getting way more views than the folks providing non-Fudster information. So this leads me to believe that maybe some of you are also watching their content, which is fine, nothing wrong with that, but you are letting their fears, uncertainty, and doubt influence you and incite panic in you. I'm not saying anything good or bad about the videos, I haven't seen it personally, but usually when someone throws out FUD about a project or anything, it usually means A, they've lost money, or B, they're just looking for attention, to get some more views and clearly it's working because clearly people are watching it. I, for one, have not watched it. People have reached out and asked me, hey, John, why don't you watch their videos and make a dispute about it and invalidate all their claims? I'm not gonna watch it because I don't wanna support the FUD and I personally do not wanna give it any more life than it needs because in my opinion, if you do even a little bit of research about Evergrow coin, and when I say a little, I mean a little, all the information is readily available. Nothing's being hidden. It's not a big like, okay, we can't figure out what's going on, guys. But they have Discord, they have Telegram. If you pop in there, they will happily answer your questions. I know for a fact that Mrs. Crypto Rabbit and Evergrow Paul810 are on the Discord of Evergrow Coin, and they are actively on it, always answering questions, helping out folks. You can see on the Twitter Spaces, you can see on the AMAs, they are there helping out. So I mean. Literally, the help is there if you want it. I'm not saying they only do it. I'm just saying they're the people who are known for it. But the community is what drives Evergrow Coin. And the community shares information with each other. Why do you think I make these videos? To share good information so you do not get misled by Fudsters. But you know what? It's a free country. People are welcome to believe what they want to believe, right? So let me go ahead and cover some of the news right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do a wellness check on the cryptocurrency markets. We can see Bitcoin is only down 1.73% for a day. It's currently at 57,568. A few days ago, Bitcoin was about 54,500. So we're seeing a slight recovery. And that's great in my opinion because a recovery in Bitcoin means a recovery in everything else. Ethereum is popping up nicely. It is up 6% for the week. We're seeing Binance Coin showing a nice recovery. It's currently at 622 and currently up 4% for the week. We're seeing Dogecoin still down. We're seeing Shiba Inu was a nice recovery at about 30% when I checked the other day. Right now it's currently showing 14.58% and 13% for the week. So ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing a nice recovery in the cryptocurrency market. Are we at all time highs? No, because Bitcoin was around 68K before it bounced off, but now we're about 10K 
off the all-time highs. So we are moving back in the right direction. We're seeing a nice bounce towards the right direction, folks. Of course, it's going to take time. This was a pretty funny tweet to me at Evergrow Sam. If our project was a scam, I would have moved to a desert island when a team wallet was worth over 100 million. But no, I'm here working 70 hours a week to make this project a success. Mike says, but what is $100 million when you could build an empire and have generation after generation in your family, fully supported by a passive income and a community that is so behind you? Believe in you, mate. Evergrow Salmon says, in truth, I had plenty of money long before EGC. It's a challenge that drives me and being involved with the best crypto project I've ever witnessed. Two months in and over 28 million US dollars rewards delivered to our 107,000 hodlers. Check your rewards at app.evergrowcoin.com and share your screenshots with the hashtags EGC and EvergrowCoin. So I threw out a tweet yesterday about this because I thought it was kind of funny. And EvergrowCoin has decided to retweet it, which is awesome of them. So it says, holy cow, some haters are following my every post about EGC, EvergrowCoin, Evergrow Army. I think some of the fuzzers are seriously triggered. At Evergrow Coin EGC, you guys are real deal. Folks are threatened as you guys are setting a new level of precedence that they don't like. So ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I threw that tweet was because I thought it was funny. I literally had a few folks following every single post, throwing the same FUD over and over and over. And my God, I think they were triggered. I mean, I don't know what was up with them. And clearly some of you guys thought it was funny as well. And I wanted to touch on a quick thing about Sam here. So Sam has said he has a lot of money already, right? So what do people do when they have a lot of money? Well, they like challenges. And the reason why they have so much money is because they always put themselves in a position for a new challenge. They always want to solve a new problem because when you solve a new problem, guess what? The money, the prestige, everything else comes with it. Think of Tesla, for example, here. They were the first on the market for an electric vehicle to make it commercially viable in a more mass-produced scale here. The biggest hurdle was the battery packs. And guess what? Tesla was able to solve the battery packs and essentially everything else came with it. The sales came with it. The mass adoption came with it. The mass production came with it. And now the fame and prestige and the money comes along with it. So going back to Sam, if he can actually create with the Evergrow coin team, the most transparent coin, which it currently is, check mark on that box. If he can create utility with the Evergrow coin team to produce revenues, semi check on our box because we are still developing it. It is still in a QA phase. It hasn't been tested yet. It hasn't been proven yet, but it is on the way. Most importantly, the Evergrow coin team and Sam get paid the same way you do. So this should give anyone nothing but the utmost faith in the project. Check mark on that one. You tell me another project that does this and is this fair and it's equitable to the people. I will buy some of those bags. Let me know though, folks. Comment down below which one it is. But it has to meet all this criteria, folks. If it does, I will happily buy it and I will happily cover it on my channel. I have never seen anything like this. And honestly, I don't think I ever will because most folks who do these kind of things are looking for a quick pump and dump scheme. They're looking for a pyramid where them and their future friends are on top and everyone else is on the bottom. So this is a true opportunity. And don't forget, folks, the price appreciation of the burn in the future, you may not be able to comprehend and understand it now, but I'm telling you, folks, the buyback and burn mechanism will make everyone here very wealthy. You need to give it time. I would say in a year from now, next year at this time, ladies and gentlemen, if you bought today, I'm going to go ahead and say it, folks. You're going to be very very happy with your position of course it's not a guarantee but i do truly believe it and that's why i put my own money into this project here and i do want to say i don't normally buy too many poo coins but this one here it just checked all the boxes off and in the right way so let's go ahead and cover the chart ladies and gentlemen we are now covering the chart of egc i am going into a 15 minute perspective because i actually want to zoom in to show you guys what the details are so you see here on november 29 around 12 45 pst time someone bought three hundred and seventy two thousand dollars. that is evidenced by this nice giant green candlestick and ever since then we've been 
holding above it because someone came in and bought almost 500 billion egc and to date there's almost 20 trillion egc tokens burned and put into the burn wallet so that means you literally only have 480 trillion left so now looking at it from a chart perspective here you can see that okay we're bouncing off of this which is fantastic so our next support is going to be around 7170 so unless we see a big sale i don't foresee this dropping any more lower than this however though it can always happen right because another well can sell and of course guess what lower the egc price now the resistance at 116 is going to be a long trek about four points away because 7721 to 116 is about four points away here right but we are two points away from 5209 which is a support i drew a long time ago and if you've been watching my videos i call this out and of course i'm hoping that some of you guys who watch my videos and pay attention you got in on this dip so with that being said if you look at this from a risk reward perspective here 5209 to 116 is about a six point difference here and 7759 to 5209 is a two point difference so we're still on the lower half of the risk rewards here that means you're buying in the lower half below the half point the half point will be about 8000 so that being said if you buy now and you're still below the midpoint mark you're still having a low row risk and a higher potential for reward here if we get around to 116 it is now a resistance and that means that we could be trading sideways so if we get to 116 we could see a potential sell-off it's not a guarantee but some folks who use technical to trade they use these charts and this information as a barometer of where to buy and sell so with all that being said folks we now know the supports and potential resistance we can see that we saw a nice big well buy up a large wall up amount right there so that means that we're seeing people still believe in evergrow coin and when i say a few i mean maybe five to ten individuals who literally sank the markets because they held a disproportionate amount of the egc tokens because well you know there are pre-sell buyers and when they bought pre-sale they bought big and they got a lot and they're cashing out and i say to them why not right if this is life-changing money for you hey why not get your lambo get your nice house get your little boat why not man you do you right but the end of the day here is that you have to understand 20 trillion tokens burned as of this recording 50 trillion dev wallet so you have 20 plus 50 that's 70 trillion that will never be seen in the ever grow coin float ever again so that means you're only trading on 430 trillion tokens yes that is a lot this means 14 percent of the tokens currently are taken out of circulation so this means that you are trading on 86 percent leftover tokens to push the price up and every day at this low price here you're gonna see more and more people buy and when they buy here guess what they can buy more tokens and they can burn more at the same time so eventually we're going to see a nice nice burn rate and when you see the utilities come in you're going to see even more burn so with all that being said leave me a comment down below with the key word of burn because i want to know who are the real ones so go ahead and subscribe like and hit that notification bell and most importantly have an awesome day and i will catch you all on the next one